Axel's getting ready to fight up into them. Axel peeking forward, not getting his first shots. It's Ariel who goes down in the meanwhile. Navani to find one. Axel Ooh. brought down in response. Jemmy to bring that apart. But Navani has pushed through. He's still alive and holding such a tricky angle. They might not realize where he is as Inters goes down and they've found him. Now it's all about Havu overwhelming and overcoming. But with Hobbit and Shiro having rotated onto the bomb site, there's still a small hurdle to get past. And can they do it? Shiro peeks out, Ooh. drops a bomb, beautiful shot, and buys Hobbit what? the time to bring it back. But it's still a one on two. Shiro has to do it all. Has to get the 3k as he's crept past into Ivy. Over oh. he goes straight to the head of X7, leaving Slowy wondering how can he play this one out. And Shiro is going... He's not checking it. Shiro's coming from behind. Shiro's going to be able to get it done. And what a way to start. <laughs> Shiro, three kills for the man. The constant repositioning. We talk about how hard it is to clutch sometimes on train because of the never-ending ability to reposition. Really well really well thought out there from Shiro and slowly just none the wiser. I love that sound for the Stinger. I will just say that. Quite nice, but... The question is, Havu at this point, with the bomb plant get at least there, what are they going to be In Zoria's hands, expect him to be a massive influence in terms of opening up rounds, especially in a moment like this where Gambit are going to be WP. Surely, I mean, holding towards the brown holes is going to have its merits, but... Nice opening here for Harvey. The double drop all too successful. The MP9 getting nothing accomplished. And that may look a little bit awkward from Nafani's perspective. The player ducked down the other way, but trying to dodge a counter flash if possible. Hobbit one for one. And Havu now have a pathway in towards this B bomb site. They may think that, that that Hobbit was the only one they had to deal with that direction. So Zori's going to investigate with his orb. Ah, sorry, he's moving around the corner. He's not going to be expecting Shiro, and that's going to be a critical mistake. Shiro, oh. however. However, has been laid, you know, thrown for them to move, make the move. Axel peeks I mean, through, sees one, sees two, and he will connect one the second. Bomb, the bomb dropped too, as yeah. well, and now he can just back off and wait for them to start peeking in. X7 has, however, recovered it, and he's still waiting. Inters was flicks oh. onto the head of Ariel, and X7 is left alone. 33 HP on him, and as he fakes out no the bomb plant, the peak will be coming in soon, and he's not left himself enough time, and now he might even go down afterwards. Will they be peeking him? Yes, they will. Shiro. From behind, finish. Well, to salvage their economy somewhat. It isn't quite the travesty we thought it would be with X7's uh, untimely demise. Slowy, however, has found oh. a big position to sneak into, but not a big frag off the back of it. Nafani will come out on top. And with this, Axel's been given free. Oh, Shiro. Will he be able to find anything for now? Ariel's taking out Axel, enters the trade. Shiro waits for the kill, but will not find it initially. X7, though, mm. has not been too fruitful in his recent attempts over on the A-bomb side. And Jeremy, I believe he might not be any different. How is he re oh. that? How is he re that in a 4v1 where they can say their economy? That's just the magic of Shiro. Yeah, he does some pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, he's 10-0 and and at the moment. Get answers. Nafani looking to give them a few kills, but X7 is indeed going to find one of his own. Axel, meanwhile, will fall, and suddenly it's a 5-on-3, with Shiro being in a very awkward position as he tries to peek out. Ah, who says it's awkward for Shiro? Absolutely not. Hobbit Inters still trying to fight back. Hobbit will fall slowly on the sidelines, gets flashed up completely. Good. Inters is able to blind him out, and it's Inters to try and re -peak. back into Ariel. Will not find the kill, but has given Shiro enough oh. space to feel secure. However, that security is a lie. And Havu, with an early advantage, it was down that the B-bomb site should be defended. But now Hobbit, he's hearing the peak come in, gets the first. Are they going to repeat? Yes, they are. Hobbit is waiting for it. Hobbit is just wasting their time, but Ooh. Jemmy will waste his life. Back to a 4v4. Axel, not mollied out entirely. It doesn't spread. Will it do so in the last tick? Doesn't look like it. And that could be deadly. Axel could now look to push in, try and find information. And as X7 is oh. being found through the smoke, enters, takes him down. Shiro has now taken Hobbit's place, so they might not be expecting this at all. Shiro will get the frag. Great discipline on the cross here. Even smokes himself off in style, while Nafani will continue to make sure that Pop Dog cannot be controlled at all by Havu. It seems like it is entirely impossible. And with Ariel now down to five, there's just no chance. This is the worry coming into a map pick like this for Havu. 
you know, coming into the veto process, there were a, f a few maybe predictable routes here for Harvey to take, and Gambit... Yeah. Oh, the, the smoke, smoke comes hits through, him. Hobbit has blocked it, and a shield! Oh, 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 oh. Right through it, we'll find another! Havu, I hate to break... A X7 trying to linger out towards that sandwich position, but Ariel finding the first, Nafani caught out of position, and X7 trying to progress into the site, Zori finding another all the meanwhile, but Inters is still alone here on this bomb site. has a player segmented off in the connector, reinforcements is coming, but it's gonna arrive a little too late, and so Ariel finally getting that blindside and kill, trying to deal with the planter, but it will go down for Havu, Zori's low, a 2 on 3 oh. and oh, just like that, Hobbit is equalized, so this is suddenly so much more feasible. And as the bomb defuse is faked out, Ariel will need to peek out soon as well. Hobbit will get the first hero with the second. And Gambit are so good in coordinating these retakes. Shiro will have the defuse out. And Michael, I was going to be, you know, I had my entire bit prepared that I'll write Havu's really all aim because they need to have that utility to lock out players long enough to get the bomb plant. That is a sick kill from Hobbit, by the way. But then the retake comes in. The retake is just consistently equalizing and so on point from Gambit. What can you even say? But X7's in oh. on the bomb side. He's got one Jimmy with a second Shiro. Well, at least try to put up a defense, but they've been isolated. The only person here is Inters, and he's being flanked upon as well. Ariel from the side. They're not going to anticipate him, though. Inter is not cleared, and so slowly goes down. That's the bomb dropped on the site, and a flash to allow Inter to escape. A secondary one to allow him to re-aggress, but it's dodged out. Ariel able to adapt in time. So that man advantage, or equalizer, rather, from Gambit is lost instantly. Havu have sussed out the flank as well, so Hobbit is a crucial duel to win if they want to go for this, but Zori dealing with the flank for that, but... But Nathaniel on 1100, he can definitely buy a utility plus an MP9. Shiro can drop over an M4 and a Farmers and still have full utilities. Health away. And he's he's fancying a repeat. Yeah, the flash on in. It's going to be a player up close, though, and he oh. flicks down to it. So able to adapt in time, but there is still, of course, a one-for-one -one trade. That AWP no longer registered here for the Gambit side. And Nafni creeping through a smoke. X7 the other side of it. No sneaky stuff here for Gambit to work. Able to see just ahead. Great shot from Hobbit. And Axile will fall. X7. What a peek in. Brings him down. And that is a crucial frag. It changes everything. It leaves Inters and Hobbit to try and do all the dirty work. Hobbit's gambled away incorrectly. And Inters has fallen. Hobbit at this point might just want to save the AWP. But with a Molotov at his feet. And Zori at his face. There is no chance of that whatsoever. Not only spotting out this play here from Nafani, but as Axile was trying to aggress towards Ivy, he got shot in the side. So X7 knew that he was there, and Axile had to reposition. And then those entries into the bomb site were clean at that for him. Now that money runs away from him, back to heaven. He's been so mobile on the bomb site so far, but Axel will be peeking out soon. Will not get oh. the kill, though. Ariel is ready. And as the T's are burning away, Hobbit will escort them to a quick death while he himself will be assisted to the very man by Slowy. But Nafani's not done yet. It's the 2v3. Havu oh. losing the advantage and losing Ariel's head with it. Zori alone with the awp that was uncontested you said but now it is unassisted unaided unabetted and he will not find the frag and now seconds. as he repositions with time ticking away he will be caught off on the ladder nafani takes him down gambit with their eighth round and what a way to find some other teams may have done in this situation you could see some tricky positions being implemented the nafani coming in on the flank but some of the counter utility you know high for the oh. site but axile sussed him out Instant shot coming out from him, and as Hobbit being forward, he'll be able to take down one and two. Makes it look easy, and Nafani will assist Ooh. temporarily, but Zori left alone. Zori smoked off. Body will be assisting him for a while longer, but again, man, this guy's just not going to be able to find anything. And where they go for an incredibly fast space execute, now Zori will just be caught off by the player on the rafters. Axel to take him away. Will he pick up the secondary AWP? Doesn't look like it. Just the mullet may be gone wrong. And then when Ariel's on the bomb side, he's completely alone. There's no flashbangs to assist him for the peak outwards as well when he's right. Up the angle, the smoke will prevent Inters from contributing, but spamming on through, they're spamming right back. So Inters will take that one. Reloading out oh, no. in the open though, flash out, and Zori's got an AK. Brain set of affairs, to say the least.
These don't have a smoke, though. So Shiro has clear sight lines for days and on train. That is the recipe Ooh. for disaster. But he is met with disaster. Zoro takes him down. Slowly jumping up reveals his position. Axel from this side comes below. Takes away. Slow. And now it's a 2v3. Hobbit and Axel. How many rounds have we seen them cluster this out so far? Can they do it again? Oh. It seems like they might be able to. Hobbit and Axel moving faster. Smoke to mask the bomb itself and as Hobbit shallow. will move forward to try and tap it away Axel on the sidelines Axel will be sideline and Hobbit finds out where the last player is is he sticking it Hobbit oh, is sticking Ariel. it Ariel will be oh. in perfectly positioned for the quick headshot but 9-6 would always be nice Hobbit up to some tricky things once again in the brown hole slowly the other side of it and on the low ground Hobbit will find him could have got his hands on an AK, but doesn't want to linger too long. So he'll leave it by for now. No good, Hobby. Always creeping about. X7, though. Might not be expecting this UMP to be in position. And he oh. will still behead Axile. The guillotine of X7's AK will come in. Ariel, a little bit more labored, a little bit more peppered, a little bit more spice to the spray. But he will get the kill regardless. Here on the AWP, retakes have not been as forte in the past few rounds, at least in the past round especially. Hobbit's gone down as well. Now it's just Naphany and Shiro who are trying to move in. It's the last round of the half. They have to go for it. Shiro, no as he as peeks well. forward, will be sidelined. Oh, what? what? I didn't even see that for a second. We switched away. Naphany in the oh, background dear. as well. A beautiful shot They're to come to. Quick. And as he starts peeking forward, Zori's all alone. Zori's going to be coming in. He will find the first. Can he find the second? Shiro second going defuse? for the defuse. No. It is a 10 second. He doesn't have time. Zori will go down. What the hell was that kill from Shiro? We went away from it. Even though... We get it on the replay. That's the real question. Of course, things all started from here. You know, the flank that was enabled later on by Naphne was a result of that AK being dropped as well. Would have likely ended up not allowing for other positions really to be held here from Harvey. This is a crucial duel for, to be won. Axile sussing out X7, and now this site is going to be harder to hold. It's going to be pincered in from multiple angles. Axile continuing with the P250. And you can see that losing territory here on the CT side. Slowly, crucial fight to be Ooh. won. But there's a flank coming into the words of the connector, and Hobbit may just be unseen. There's a flank all too juicy here for Hobbit. They need to get this bomb planted soon, though. 10 seconds left, and it's now Slowey in the 1v3. Slow is oh, oh brought down. Hobbit makes that round all on his lonesome. It seems like they're just not able to get the Hopper, who's been that active in just getting kills without utility. Jamie though turns around, will not find the kill. Hobbit just sneaks right in there. Get the read. That that's I think there have yeah. been a few rounds that have been very indicative of that of the research that has been has come in here for Gambit. You know, you may look at Harvey X7 at long distance here at the org trying to deal with the Gambit progression. Three players are going to emerge. Ooh. X7 one for one. Axile trying to make his way in towards the bomb site slowly. Still pretty far progressed into the site and hard to be dealt with. Shiro not prepared for the angle. Hobbit there to trade, but it's back and forth galore. But Zori makes it even doubly trouble here for Gambit. Twenty seconds left. Axile thirty eight. Yeah, he's counting himself I mean, out around already. He did. For a second there, it looked like he thought they were just home. <laughs> Our protocols in place. Zori moving past the mall tall. Oh. Hobbit taking the low ground. Zori unanticipating. What a shot from Hobbit. He has been a monster. These past few months in this map, you can see it transpiring the exact same way. Hobbit reveals his position slowly. Well, utilize that position, but Hobbit's still in pursuit. He's still going forward. He's not done yet. The bomb side is taken over. And the terrorist side now is Shiro planted on the AWP. We'll actually oh. have Hobbit going for more. It's three kills. They're all on the entry. And only a few positions that they can get to in time to try and deal with the B site maneuvers. So, sit further back in towards these sites, and Zori is going to have a bit of a shooting gallery in front of him. But the missile, the shot, Gambit can get out, and they've lost Jemmy on the site. So, Zori has to pick them off at a distance, finding Inters, deploying utility, but well, this bomb can get planted. Oh, no. And oh, oh, no. A missed smoke over towards the connector, so that will segment off Zori's rotation. But he's honed on the angle, and Naphne's advanced position will net him nothing. Now, Shiro has to try and defend. A single smoke was the only utility they had, and he has deployed it. Uh, we'll start to move forward, waiting for them to lean into either side. They're just holding, but oh. Shiro 
those holding their lives and snuffing them out Ooh. looking for more going for two it's the third that comes back to bite him but the equalizer is given hobbit a chance to start peeking forward hobbit flicks hobbit's got it it should be 15 zori left alone to go for the ace clutch can't really find it the bomb sticked away and as he circled uh -huh. around on top of the bomb trying to defuse hobbit will instead snuff out his life yeah i think we all do and he's gonna be fast they hit shots like these really solid work there in a in a position where they were that man down you know from there you know harvey don't have other contributions into the round and hobbit once again oh. on this lurk finding jemmy but zori is there to plug the gap so that hobbit doesn't run away with things oh. and nafti a slow descent into depth into pop dog the terrorist side have seen one a smoke will bloom right at their feet and as they look to maybe even push through shiro will oh. actually have his teammate now they know where he's positioned and so they cross into the site successfully this bomb can get planted here x7 still peering away trying to find something on the awp but they've lost that site presence in zori a flank is ensuing but shiro's primed on the angle x7 is sneaky though finding the equalizer and now it's all about the all about that backstab aerial coming in from the side can he find anything both players nestled away from him both players hiding their behinds but inters is exposing his very soon will go down and now x7 only one angle to watch out for does he realize what it is the molotov oh. will not go through they've given it up aerial will take it away take it home the 10 second defuse it comes in and it will be uh -huh. around in the favor of havu no kit Molotov. Yep, exactly. And his teammates, you know, you can see his teammates are calling it out at that time. Uh, it's on B, it's on B, it's on B. That's why he throws it, but then it's a little bit too late. That's all it is. Yeah. Need a peek out from the side. That smoke goes awry. It will block him off. And Inters gets the shot. Aerial might have just destroyed his teammates' chances over there. But as he peeks forward, he'll find one before being traded. A miss smoke could be the end. Axel knows where the AWP is. Zori. Creeps past into connector shore, but the bomb is planted. Kit nearby. Zori peeking forward. No one to find, but X7 as a shot from Shiro is falling apart. The CT side have a Molotov. They can go for the defuse. Axel will, oh. however, not need to peek. X7 will go down. Axel to get the final. Hobbit will take their enemies. Map peek starting things off up one to nothing. And when we're back, it'll be time to see if they can finish it out. To a 2-0 gun. 1-1. One, one. Jemmy jump spotting initially. Grenade goes out. Well played. Ooh. And slowly shot is as well. Jemmy with the follow-up connects. And now the smoke blocks him off. He's just not peeking forward. But now that they've revealed their position, the fight will ensue. And it will Ooh. be lost. Aerial goes down. These B250s are deadly. That long range, X7 and Slowey, who are trying to wait for their teammates to come over before they start to move out, will now have Axel to face off against. Axel knows there's only one player in CT. That's the deal he wants oh. to isolate, but gets it on stairs instead. Coming through, going for more. It's Nafani on the sidelines, who misses shots, and that leads to Axel's death. Nafani trying to fight back, but he's just not in position to prevent, but he still gets oh. one. Looking for more. The bomb kit, diffusal kit, is on Jenny, and he's so far away. If he hadn't had oh. to deal, but Shiro... We'll still get it done. How have they? Uh, Gambit and the squad got so many rounds here on Mirage. Axile is has proven to be a bit alone towards top middle, but the site set towards B and they're fast paced with it. Jemmy gonna get overrun shortly, but has assistance. Molly burning him down low, but finally losing out on Slowy. Ooh. They have dealt with another player here on this Gambit side, but not realizing still that Hobbit is on this lurk, but it doesn't matter. They're losing out on the site progression here. Axile now left alone into the apartment, and with Hobbit finally contributing, he has to try and salvage the round. Three more. Oh. In spite of the fact that Jemmy is really that first port of coal there for Havu, he will survive the round. Pat on the back there for Zori to keep decent Down damage. The aerial. Very good. Molotov over there as well. And he's just been forced to use the smoke. Slowy will find Axel. Being passed, the bomb will be blunted. And Shiro oh. spring in. Slowy gets one. Hobbit follows up with double. Now back to a 3v3. Hobbit's repositioned. He knows he's safe to connect, at least he was, oh. but now he's brought down from the side. It's Zori on Firebox and Shiro, 
who has been locked out of the bomb site, will just try to save this AK. Hobbit makes such a good showing of things, but a lot of that spray onto X7, a lot of that spray onto the players inside the smoke, just going awry. Otherwise, Gambit could have walked away with this one as well. Ooh, this is dangerous stuff. Sorry, oh. peeking down, but Hobbit's gonna get up with the trade. There's no, and Slow is just on position. So much damage dealt by it. Ariel playing the balcony corner. Will just have Jemmy baiting backwards. Jemmy will fall, but Ariel will not oh. be expected. Hobbit doesn't clear this out at all. Hobbit over at Benz. They know exactly where he is. And now Ariel's got a chance oh. to finish off the round here. And now Ariel will be able oh. to get two lines them up as well. And Hobbit's position is known. Ariel. What a play from him and Jemmy combined. Jemmy makes. Axel here. Oh. He turns around, they turn around. Slowy will still have the timing though. Axel oh. for a second there. He does a double take, but it's a little bit too late. Hobbit now has to go back to try and lurk over towards the B bomb site. Inside the ladder room lies X7 and wait. Can he find the kill? Laffany is speaking forward, but X7, oh. what a timing. What a timing. Shiro will go down and Naphany sure might be able to find a trade but the information gone it is massive x7 is not turning around but he's being a menace regardless he will finally fall Naphany gets the kill slowly still on the bomb site flashbang to keep him at bay for a while but the smoke will keep him safe and as slowly is now oh. leading back up it's hobbit to find the frag bring it back to a 3v3 jemmy player is still sat towards that van position and jemmy to the unseen element finding and springing in for one ariel as well as coming on that rotation it's now just nafany a one on two and they are coming in quick ariel deals with both though havu now move up to six and they have been so good he abandoned mid this is still a much stronger setup than they may be expected oh. from the Gambit side, but Axel, well, he's around, but as they move forward, the grenade will find so little time. reasonable damage. They're starting to move in. Hobbit's not cleared out. Ariel, Ariel will be traded, though. Axel and Lafani on the bomb side. That's but the is keeping them over the finish line. Zori just needs to stay alive now, and he has done so. Staple part here of the Havu game plan in allowing the, these rotates to be a little more effective, but it's well read at the, the early stages of this round. The only read to get past this two round marker. Oh, Daphne, big kill to find in the open. As slow he's been deadly to them. While Ariel has re-aggressed into A main, Zori doing the same, will Ooh. find the kill. Axel falls, it's a back to a four on four. And Ariel did back to the B bomb site at a hair's goal. And Zori will find yet another frag. Again, aggression in apartments is what's netting them so much. Oh, Shero's expecting it. Shero's expecting oh. it. What a read. X7 will fall, but Ariel will exploit the opening that's just been brought around. Ariel. Wait for the peak forward. Hey, get the ready. We'll get oh. the frag. Enters the fall. Shiro all alone. 30 seconds. There's no way he can get this done, even if he has the bomb. Surely not. Especially. Aggressing in, in crucial areas. And these fast rotations have been a blessing. Naphne trying to move past the smoke. Finds the entry, but Zori and X7 answer right back. Hobbit not moving much further into the bomb side. Then Molotov separating the team. Ariel sussing that one out as well. Keeping that man advantage here for rotation. This time will not come through. It's an op over and short, which will not ring out. Now the CTs are moving in. They will find the oh. kill. Ariel oh. will fall. Inters with the two quick frags. Knows where Zori's coming in from. Zori caught oh. out. Inters will find them their first gun round and lock. Man, massive 1v2 there at the end there for Inters. It was a 1v3, but there was, uh, of course, that immediate trade after he'd lost out. Able to, to deal with things effectively, he has been a crucial man on these faster rotates. The boost play from Havu is perfect as well. No top mid smoke to, for Hobbit to sit behind, and they are looking to regress on towards the same side. They've been spotted out, and Inters what? gets nothing on the entry. Shiro answering back with the AWP, but they are here in force on the side of Havu, getting gunned down here on the rotation though no smokes really out here for gambit they went in dry and harvey weren't expecting it Glory does have backup coming over he peeks in he peeks into that <laughs> gets the kill shiro's miss his shot and you can see the pressure starting to escalate for gambit but axel will step up when that pressure comes through shiro moving forward as well sees the foot of the ct 
Waiting for the big oh. Missouri and Jemmy. Rock their worlds, peeking in quickly in succession. Havu are up to 11, Michael. 11 to 3. A scoreline none of us expected to see. Absolutely not. And I don't expect that that will slow down here in the last round of the half. Looking to make this a 12-3 if they can get it. Ariel past the Molotov, finding Hobbit. He will get gunned down from behind. Not expecting a second player to be up so close, but Zori dealing damage. Now Maffini is the one using it to his advantage. X7 moves in. X7 moves past the Molotov as well. And Maffini, as low as he is, can't be too bold. And as he is... Oh. Creeping into the smoke, he dodges the bullets and X7 will fall. Gets back to a 2v3, but Jemmy and Slowy still alive. Slowy, now the only one here in the bomb. Is a grenade would finish off Naphany. Slowy, however, is hunting for Shiro and Naphany. But cut him off at the side. Fourth round secured for Gambit, but a hung read as, as to where he's positioned. And they were very separated. But once that information is given over, they play it like a T. They know exactly. The B bomb side awaits, seemingly. Fall on flash, pepped up by Naphany. And they will start to move in. Fully blind, but Ariel gets the kill regardless. Naphany, Ooh. however, Ooh. is blinking away, dinking them down, and it's just X7. Left to salvage around. He's good with the Glock, but he can't he get the frag. Doesn't look like it. Axel's got it in the bag. Man, Naphany is not only self on that CT side, less likely to be implemented here on the other end. Hobbit up close, Shiro all oh, primed on the angle, the flash doesn't get him, so he's able to fire off and still see enough. They're up close again, but Shiro hits the crucial duel into what a four a on three. Find as well, and Shiro will now finally fall. Slowy knows where the player is, we'll see him jumping oh. up, but Axel still gets the kill. Zori, the one man left. To try and save the day, but the day is long and his life is not Zori. Brought down by Inters. So, it's a matter all too much. Really good beacon here from Inters. It was a team flash as well, that's why they weren't able to trade effectively there from Havu, the secondary player that moves on in, fully blind up the other side. Oh, but it wasn't I think the CT's also around. through one. Well, either way, point is they're blind. Holds a close angle. Wait for the push to come forward. The duel goes the way of Axile, and the pressure on Habu's shoulder is being mounted on. Shiro, what a shot onto X7. Brings him down at 22. Now will follow through, but can't get the frag Aww. until the reef peak. Shiro brings it back to a four on two. But Zori, being the only person to really find a kill so far, makes it two, so... Making it possible, but as time is ticking down and 15 seconds left on the round, the player at the back Inters will come in from the side. Can't quite deny it. Oh. Ariel will get the kill. Suddenly, it's all possible. It's Zori and a one on two. Zori's moved in from behind. He is going to have his position revealed entirely. Shiro, flashbang will not matter. Secondary will not either. Zori's just waiting for the peak to come oh. through. Will not get the shot, though. That was crucial. He had to find that one. And as the diffuse is coming forward, Zori's pressured into Shiro's crosshair. If he'd found that one frag, that could have been everything. That could have been the round. Oh, such a hard quick scope to hit as well. Didn't want to scope in too early just in case Shiro tried to find a timing around the other side. Massive. Ash don't aerial. Fast split though. And Shiro is ready for the fast split. Smoke comes out to block out the Molotov shore, but how useful is that going to be? Axel waiting in short will go down as he turns away and is flashed up entirely. Uh, Naphany, the only man to defend the bomb site, is unable to do so. Shiro will have to move back and session. He does the AK to try and fight more effectively, but he didn't have his gun out. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh, flashbang as well. He's going for more. Okay. Doesn't save the AWP. Still, money's pretty good on the CT side. Very crisp. Yeah, a little ding dong ditch here from Hobbit. Nice little practical joke. X7 sneaking oh. his way through window. Bell rung as well, but Naphany down. Man advantage, but Havu have a couple players surviving by a sliver. Molly is huge. Hobbit, however, who's nestled on the bricks, will be alive for a while longer. Gets the kill onto X7. 
It's three versus four. Gambit's been closed in on Shiro's brought down. He's distracted and can't pull the trigger in time. Inter is an Axel, so forced off the bomb side. Can't be there, but Axel! Oh, 12 seconds, too. What a too. frag. He's going for more, but the bomb can be planted. Right behind it. <laughs> Would not be a surprise. That sounds like an old Looney Tunes. <laughs> Is Bugs Bunny with more and more doors open? To be the question. Daphne. Pushing forward, Jemmy lying in white, sees oh. the elbow, gets the elbow. Jemmy will be traded, but that is still such a big kill. There's these angles, but so far not finding anything. Axel, meanwhile, lies in white, Inter is being tagged up. Oh. Axel's been brought down, X7 will find one, and Inter's, if I'm not wrong, his position should have been revealed, but they haven't had the audio cue. Slowly oh. will find the kill regardless. Havu. The 14th round has been secured and... Maybe, but not quite. I don't want to jinx it. Look, yeah, yeah. I, the, I don't want to be certain, the man. It's still not certain, right? Because Gambit have been such a force to be reckoned with. Flash position here for Nafni holding the lower tunnels as well. Run boost out. We'll spot both. And sorry, oh. one for one trade. Axile not going to get anything for his troubles after the trade frag. And so now it's into a three on four. <laughs> but even then, mm. that's a long time to be undefeated. Hobbit. He turns oh. around. Gambit, they're about to give up game point. Shiro will try to defend. He's got a scout. We know he's good for it. But can he, in the face of overwhelming odds, in the face of certain death, find the frag? frag. X7's taken away Inters as well. And Shiro with 15 HP will instead turn around. And Adapted to early enough there from, from Gambit. And maybe not expecting Havu to, to make such drastic throw, not looking likely. Especially if they're going to be able to get away with all of these plays. Havu. Oh, no, he's not expecting. Oh. He turns around at the wrong time. Shiro's got a kill in the meanwhile. He dropped the bomb. This could be massive. Molotov at his feet. Hobbit is forced outwards. Shiro still waiting with the scout, but slowly. What a shot from him. Back to a four on three. Havu. Grenades now moving forward. Axile to be bearing the brunt of them. Axile oh, on a single HP. point of HP. A smoke at his feet has to even dodge that. But X7 on the flank will find him and cut him down. Inters, Nafani, the last line of defense. Selecting this Nafani. Nafani? Knife, Knife out. out. Knife out. Moving oh. in. Get the headshot. Look oh. for more. Nafani might have just saved the day and given them a lifeline. They were lost since she and Nafani's built them a raft to float on, but he will still fall with 28 seconds, leaves the baton to Inters, who's picked oh. in, and Havu will take it away. 16 to 10, the first loss that Gambit has had since this. But there's another lesson to be learned here for Gambit, See if they can pull it off in the grand final. Straight to the pistol, Gambit oh, with the CT God. side start, but Axile delete. This might be a false call, but rotations are being brought forward. Hobbit is able to pull oh. one makes it to and looks for more zori on the sideline is sidelined and hobbit is going for more jemmy will finally come through with a kill but it's slowly who's on the bomb side who's on it already oh, who's caught off the flanker but shiro will get the frag regardless jemmy the only player left alive and hobbit just does what he needs to do Three kills for him. Jemmy trying to get four. One upping the affair. But that can really delay them for too long. And a flashbang to pop out. Axel to come oh. through. Gets himself one. Looks for two. But tagged up and bagged up as well. Oh. Zero. No scope is unsuccessful. And Ariel will punish him with three quick kills. You know, he gets that no scope on the site. Maybe he's able to stay alive a little bit longer. Divert some attention away from that secondary player in the site spot hobbit oh the players are passing right below him and oh the timing is good x7 unsuspecting hobbit has an exit path as well but 25 seconds left the tag comes in from the orb and nafani strikes axile as well has picked off another so it's just zori and jemmy to recover this bomb dropped out in the open and the awp has to be the one to get it no chance havu are bailing out of this one if they can but zori's lost that awp and jemmy in no man's land they almost lined up for Zori as well over there. And Jemmy, the only thing he can try and go for is keeping the AK alive. But Axile knows where Jemmy is. Let's not forget Hobbit saw him oh. earlier on. So Jemmy has to save the gun. Will he be able to do For the right time to strike. Shots being fired off by X7. The boost breaks down. Hobbit finally strikes. 
There's still another person in that connector, so this could be massive. Hobbit trying to smoke himself off slow. He only gets one so far. Naphne, however, who's still here, playing from short, waiting for Ariel to peek into him, will not be given any more blood. 50 seconds on the clock, and rotation is going back to a bomb side. Naphne, with the adjustment, quickly finds a vertical uptick and takes down Ariel. With that, Zori Another easy slowly. frag. Yeah, seems like they're just walking into the CT sight lines. Every single time. Oh, head Gam spotted out as well. Yeah. Gamma just making everything work. Really solid stuff. The, this aggro setup. Seems like it was just theirs from the very beginning. This is practically one side, and look, we, we, we talked about in our, you know, uh, Mont Green Room and how often Havu seemed to be relying on starting things off on the CT side and a lot of that comes down to Zori's AWP being more active, X7 having a lot more options but now Axel's cut down Ariel Havu already at a man disadvantage Pro progress and that nade doing a lot of damage here for Havu they're trying to creep on out see if they can contact in but the flash has come in as well and Hobbit's gone Inter is still at the barrel but unseen one kill found the second gonna be labored and they find trades effectively brought into equal numbers a two on two Flashbang goes out, keeps them at bay this is the best chance oh Havu's had in a while and that miss flashbang will be Giving them even more options. Shiro, though, starting to aggress forward. Tech 9 in hand, moves in, gets oh. a frag. Trade is there, and Zori! Oh. The adjustment, the third kill, will find it. He was looking for it, but nobody on the receiving end there for Havu. Sharp stuff for Hobbit, though, the two tapper. But there is a trade right back from Slowey. Havu been able to. Ariel and company inside the smoke enters. This could be huge for him. He's starting to oh. move through. X7's got one Ariel. Has a second. Back to a three on two. Shera has to step up. Oh, AWP has already. They peek into him and it will bring back the equalizer. Bomb has to start moving to the pillar to keep it defended from B. But it should be one where Shero can peek in and get it done. Axel, however, in the meanwhile, finds one. Zori creeps boss inside water. Lies in white. Shero. Might not have realized, and definitely didn't realize that the bomb was being planted for him. Zori's position is huge. So oh, Zori's turning around. Zori oh. with Mondo. He's been given a chance, but not one that can be capitalized on. Shiro still gets it done. And a 2v2, which looked like Havu had it in the bag. They just had the bag stolen away from them. Oh, and part of that play as well there from Axile, you know, moving past the smoke, going through towards short. I thought he was just going to flank out the monster tunnel in all fair. Line this one up, the off angle here from Inters, and he's going to be able to get the first secondary frag. Not going to be easy, but Hobbit's gunned him down. That's the bomb dropped in monster, and he's preventing them from progressing into it, making sure he can't get their hands on that bomb, and they have to separate. A three on two, and the smoke's in the utility. They're fading. Ten seconds left. And it's all on Ariel to try and assist Zori, doing what he can, but the bomb will be planted. Shiro goes forward, Shiro's been brought down, Ariel can't adjust in time, Zori left in the oh. one on two, can't get it done. Saves them off, makes it to the two-pronged assault of the B, bomb set is instead split in half and cut down. He's gonna go for a flat out B side execute. Flash on through. Jemmy does make it past the smoke and he gets the double entry. That is solid stuff here for Havu. One more player to beat the nade doing decent damage, but Nappy to hold his ground. But Ariel plucks him out. Surgical won't work, but maybe brute force will. Axel, meanwhile, will at the very least eliminate one time and time again. This is not the same domination from Gambit that we saw in the beginning, but. The question is angle device lost to take, but Ooh. he misses the shot initially. He will be able to land the second one, but repeats in and oh. miss that'll be coming back to bite him in the head. A one for one. Or is it going to be too little too late? Axel, Naphany both have a Molotov a piece as well. Axel deploys out the smoke. A Molly goes down. This could be it. That could be the difference maker. Flashbang oh. as well. Naphany will be blinded up by it, but Axel will fall. Naphany will drop the bomb. 12 seconds on the clock, and they're starting to move through. Zori with the Molly. Jemmy needs to peek in. Jemmy oh. gets the kill, and that could be what gives them a chance. Jemmy's still watching. Zori's going for the bomb plant. Jemmy without HP will try to defend without losing his life, but in the flank comes out Hobbit with a CZ at the ready. He'll be 
right swinging sooner rather than later but jemmy is not expecting it the angle not being held jemmy will move past jemmy's in divider jemmy's oh. down sorry the only man left a 1v2 that he has faced so many times over this time we'll see the body of hobbit hobbit now knows where the man is sorry trying to reposition moving back to the back line looking for interest oh. will get the kill but can't get the second hobbit with the kid at his feet will find the defuse ninth round for gambit the timings and positioning he starts to move backward this could be him getting caught out oh. he had the timing but nafferty turns in behind it here from habu though they're still grouping up towards the bathroom seeing if there's an aggressive push here from gambit as there was no players behind the execute axal will strike first and there's no trade immediately zori there finally plugging that one up and slowly trying to make his way in towards the bomb site and they move in, Hobbit is blind, but it is Shiro to find the frag, goes for oh. more, will connect with the last bullet, and Hobbit will have the last word. 10 to 3. I mean, you imagine we'll be redeemed in the secondary half, but it's just all about mitigating the damage. Up to 10 already, looking to make it 11. Hobbit starts it off nicely, and the Molotov will be enough for X7 to find a kill around it. Inters was low already. Hobbit taking up his mainstay and finding a Zori on the jump. This, this is a back and forth trade affair. X7 now left in the clutch. A one on three. The smoke separates them for the rest of the team, and he's been able to get another, and X7 coming alive. Three kills so far, down to a one on one. He needs to recover the bomb. And as it has been done, X7 flashbang goes out, but Axile gets it done regardless. He gets three kills. Up to four now. Had only had one before this, but just can't get that fourth kill in this round. Axile, patient, waits it out, doesn't try to wall bang, doesn't try to peek in, isn't panicked. Again, another high impact round there for Hobbit. Another double kill on the site push. X7 really making that one. Well, three is definitely point of no return territory. Hobbit flashback gone. Peace in kill will be traded. X7 to be the one to find the frag. Going for more inters oh. to be traded again, but aerial so low. Not with oh. the spray. Can't transfer it successfully. Zorian Slowy will be moving forward, trying to regain control over CT. And as the bomb is planted, Slowy can't find that frag. Smoke needed to go forward. Sharon! What a monster this man was to save that over the last round. And then he comes through with those on the dig. That is nasty stuff. I mean, can you imagine being sure your teammate? You just spent like an entire round, you're terrified. You're being closed in upon all sides. You're like, I've got to save the off for my general. I've got to save the off for my general. And then he just gets them with the deagles. Well, well, they were like, oh yeah, do we, we have enough money to buy it. So they saved, they, they, actually they brought over that AK, right? Waiting, he is expecting this exact play to come through his way. And as he peeks forward, X7 will overcome. The terrorist side still. Harvey will have realized that that's a possibility. They're not making any sudden steps here on Gambit. Finally finding an isolated fight. Jemmy trapped in towards short order. They have picked apart. Bomb planted soon. The CT is not in position to deny it from being done. And as the slowly peeks out, as the CTs move forward, bomb will be planted. Shiro will defend it long enough, but Axel now has to defend the bomb site. A two on three. Axel looking for one. Will equalize, but it's Napani oh. who drops the ball this time. X7 with three kills immediately on the CT side is whispering into our ears. This is his side. This is his half. But can he really climb the mountain of Gambit? Whatever utility and weaponry disadvantage that they have with numbers, and numbers will be losing out to the aerial M4. And Sori follows up and follows through for more. Even. Trying to re-peek into Shero, but we've already seen how good he can be with the Deagle. And Ariel, Zori, rather, will find out firsthand. Hobbit, meanwhile, already onto the bench and goes out oh. with Galil in and brings it back to a 2v2. The smoke already being in place will at least guarantee the ability to get the bomb on down. Nade flies forward as well. Some good damage, but is it enough? Are they going to realize that the flank is coming? Utility's been pretty on point here for Gambit thus far. And the smoke timing. Oh, Hobbit finds another. So now it's only Jemmy on the flank. 
has to find his pop out jemmy's concerned about these closer angles he deploys a smoke on that okay. bomb gonna get spammed down low just doesn't have time no kit either havu have to bail out jemmy cannot get it done so it's gonna be a one round here for gambit and he concedes his life to the bomb because the explosion will take him into the next round gambit get it done and some will buy here for havu and you said it it has to be 11 straight if they want to win out on this map but gambit just needs to find necessarily always the strongest ariel right now as he pushes forward turns for the flashbang can't quite get the frag and they reveal the second player as well grenade is perfectly placed zori down to 27 and Hobbit on the side will oh, continue gone. the angle position of being in the perfect oh. position, but will not get his kill. Axel will also fall. Suddenly a four versus three, and the terrorist side are locked into long, where Shiro now will try to save the day with an AK. This time over picks oh. in, but Zori's ready. But trapped in towards the bathrooms, there's nowhere else to go. Players are tagged down low, but sharp shooting here from Slowey just enters a one on four and 25 seconds left. That bomb separated from him. And well, he's been spotted out, so not going to get it across the line. One more added to the tally. I, th I thought he just slipped off a little bit too early. Uh, Nafni, however, will still find the opening duel regardless of an unsuccessful. Oh my oh. god, Jemmy! All right, okay. Smoke off into the corner, enters down at 15. Hobbit will fall, X7 will be traded though. And with the Molotov still in water, Jemmy cannot assist his teammates and he might be caught out by the player on Toxic Shiro. Brings it back to a two on two. Smoke down, Ariel trying to make some noise, spamming, oh, just above the head of Shiro. They're coming in from both sides, Zori finding one, but Shiro, the high AP player, still alive, and he's got the AK, but Ariel's there for the trade. Almost makes that competitive, but Ariel dialing in, hearing the shots, and able to effectively bring that one back. It gets close, but Havu take it over again. A round by round by round scenario is on an island. May start to realize that soon enough. Oh, time is going to be good though. Hobbit jumping around the corner and it's a it, done deal. No trade available and Havu used the utility to allow him to, to sail back in towards the site. Like you said, they are firmly set in A and there are three players to beat here on Havu. Axile is moving in. Axile moves past, but it's slowly to find the first kill and he will be swinging up for more. Inters, however, is not falling yet. Inters gets two. Somehow will not fall ariel now has to step up can't keep the spray going Ten long seconds. enough for the m4a1 and the time is the only enemy that gambit seemed to be having a hard time overcoming a smoke will guide disguise the bomb being planted and oh. it will be a 1v1 shiro left alone x7 to contend oh. with x7 will find the not to wonder man that knife round oh. that one Treacherous knife round. How different could things have been? The opportunity with X7 has to step up again. Flashed up completely. They move past into oh. the pillar, but it's too oh, killed dear. instantly. They've overwhelmed them. Not like oh, this. No. How? The worst possible. Oh, it's Shiro. My. Five players kept alive on a half by round. The dominance of Gambit is just inspiring. How good?